Three years ago, COVID-19 caused many states to implement shutdown orders and countries to ban international travel. While many things have evolved with the virus in the last few years, the United States economy is still on the rebound. Out of your sides, Aaron Jenkins spoke with a local economist and a business owner to see where we are now. Yeah, believe it or not, we've lived with the COVID-19 pandemic for three years. The economy is still feeling the effects, but one local business in Greenville is thankful for the progress. Three years ago, while COVID testing sites started opening up, shops, restaurants and hotels started locking up. The governor said closed businesses, so of course we adhere to it. Initially we went into a deep recession, fortunately it didn't last very long. I think probably the small business sector was the sector that was most devastated. Pam Caraway, the owner of Votre Boutique in Uptown Greenville, says she saw those losses. Our sales for that 2020 were half. We cut back to try to maintain. Now, three years later. For 2022, September was like our most incredible incredible month in the history of business. That was great to see. It was encouraging. Now uh, it is balanced off to be consistent sales. Dr. Michael Walden, an economist, says the economy is evolving. The pandemic has permanently changed the face of the economy. Right now we are in a much better place. The economy is actually bigger than it was pre-pandemic. Um, we actually also see uh, worker levels back to very close to where they were pre-pandemic. But Walden says there's still some challenges. We're dealing with uh, much higher levels of inflation than we had pre-pandemic. That has caused the Federal Reserve in particular to shift policies. And the concern is, will that ultimately lead to a recession? I think that's possible. But I think the good news is we do have a recession. It'll be rather short and rather mild. Walden says before the pandemic, we were seeing prices go up on goods about one and a half percent every year. Now the latest report shows that's at six percent and he doesn't expect it to come down anytime soon. In studio, Aaron Jenkins, nine on your side.